Hoppers, it's Mrs. Herman here today for your lessons for December 7th to December 11th. Now today we're going to do something a little different and I'm glad you're, you clicked on the button that said watch this first because that means you're following directions. So friends, uh, what I'd like you to do if you are in the third grade, you're going to be clicking on third grade and once you do that, you will come over here after watching the instructions and you will click on third grade questions. Third grade questions look like this. All right, they happen to be green and it says third grade library. But if you are a fourth grader, I'd like you to go ahead and click on the fourth grade tab and where it says fourth grade questions, go ahead and uh, click on fourth grade questions. Now you'll notice your questions aren't green, they're blue, but the questions are the same. So the reason why I made third grade green and fourth grade blue is because I'd like to keep the results separate. Meaning when I'm looking at the results, I'd like to know if I'm looking at third grade results or fourth grade results. Now let's go through this together and hopefully you'll see that it's really kind of just meant to be fun and helpful to me moving forward. So it says up here, whether you're looking at the fourth grade or you're looking at the third grade lesson over here, that's green. Uh, you'll notice it says here, let me know how virtual library is working for you. You don't sign this form, so say whatever you like. It's called a survey, friends, because what it's supposed to do is help me know how you feel about library right now. So first of all, you'll notice there's a little red asterisk and that means that those are questions I'd like you to answer. So the first question is pretty obvious, which school is yours? Whether you are in a traditional format or you're in 1GP virtual and you'll see that little red asterisk, that means I do want you to answer this question. It also says here, here's another required question, how often do you watch the library lessons in Schoology? Well, the fact that you're here shows me that you've at least listened to this one, but be honest, do you listen every week? Most weeks, some weeks, not often. The next question I'd like you to answer, it says, have you visited the elementary library page? And I included a picture of it, it's right there. And if you have, click yes, and if you haven't, click no. Again, you don't sign this, so it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm looking and seeing who answered which way, but I'd like to know how many of you do look at the elementary library resource page. It says right here, uh, how, have you requested books from the public library since the school year began? So have you clicked on this button and ordered books? And if you have, click yes, and if you haven't, click no. Now these next two questions are optional. You'll notice they don't have a little red asterisk. It says, if you have checked out books from the Gross Point Public Library, what questions do you have? Because obviously I'm not there to help you. So what can I do to help you, you know, find the things you're looking for? The next question says, if you haven't checked out books in the public library, what questions do you have? Maybe there's a reason why you haven't done that. So let me know. Again, your name's not on this, so it's not like I'm going to come find you. Uh, have you attended a curbside checkout either at Defer, Mare, or Monteith? You either answer yes or you answer no. Again, your name's not on this form. I just would like to know how many of you are coming to curbside checkout. And you say, well, Mrs. Herman, if you're there, aren't you keeping track? Actually, I'm not. Because you know what? What's important is that you come and enjoy checking out books, not how many come or from which schools. What I really want to know is what can I do to make this better? So the next question is not required, but it says if you have attended curbside checkout, what uh, what changes would you like to see? What would you like done differently at curbside? And obviously, since you come and visit me, I can make those changes. The next question, which is completely optional, is if you haven't come to curbside checkout, tell me why. Okay, cool. Now, uh, now we have a couple check boxes. Please check all the places you've visited on our resource page. So everywhere you've gone this year, even if it's just once, put a check in the checkbox. Now, I've done lessons on the library and Sora and EBSCO and World Book and Britannica and Gale and National Geographic Kids. And I'd like you to put a check in the boxes of the places you've gone since the school year started. 
Now, the next question says, have you visited Mrs. Herman's webpage since the school year began? And this is what the front of my webpage looks like. And if you have, click yes. And if you haven't, click no. That's okay. Again, we're just collecting information. And the next question is completely optional, but it just says, how can I improve my website? And, you know, as the person who makes the website, sometimes it's hard for me to um, anticipate or predict what it is you want to see on the website. So it would be really helpful if you told me. Have you ever checked out a book on an e uh, ebook or an audiobook on Hoopla? I do want you to tell me because Hoopla is one of those options that many of us are using because right now we can't go into the libraries and pull all the books off the shelf that we want. Um, and so uh, if you have, please check yes. And if you haven't, please check no. Again, no judgment here. And then I have two optional questions. If you have checked out on Hoopla, is there something that could help you enjoy it more? Uh, and then the other optional question is, if you haven't checked out on Hoopla, is there something I could do to help you so you can? And then lastly, this question I really like, what would you like to learn about in our weekly library lessons? That's your opportunity to tell me what, what kinds of things we should be learning about that would be helpful to you and, and me as your librarian. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to click this button that says submit. I really appreciate it. And you're like, that's it? I'm like, yep, that's it. And you say, well, what else are we going to do today? So you click submit when you're all done and you answer the questions. And if there's possibly a question you didn't answer, it might tell you to go back and put either a check in the yes or check in the no. Um, again, when you see this little red asterisk, that means that you need to click one of these boxes to go on to the next question. The little red asterisk means one of these boxes needs to be checked off. If you forget, it's going to ask you to go back and make sure you put a, an answer in there. So friends, what do, you, what do you get to do when you're done? Well, I'm glad you asked. There are lots of things you can do today. You have your choice. Uh, let's go ahead to uh, Mrs. Herman's webpage. All right, we've done a couple fun things here. Uh, first of all, remember that uh, we are learning virtually, which means our curbside checkout is going uh, through to the end of uh, 2020. And I, I want to emphasize that when it says Mayor Defer and Monteith, that simply refers to where I will be located. It doesn't mean those are the only kids who can go there. So let me let me explain it a little differently. Um, if you can check out books on Monday, you can find the library open at Mayor. I'll be at curbside um, uh, at Mayor Elementary. It doesn't matter where you go to school. That's where I'm going to be. Uh, if the only day you can come for curbside checkout is Tuesday, then I need uh, I will be all set up at Defer. It doesn't matter if that's your school. It's just where I'm going to be. And I invite our Monteith kids to come and our Mayor kids to come and our 1GP virtual kids to come. And shoot, I recommend that if you're a Richard kid or a Ferry kid or a Mason kid or a Kirby kid, you can all come to these uh, checkouts. It's fine. You don't need a library card. I have the computer open and I'll just look your name up. So I hope you come. Now, last week we did have a snow day because it, it was we had a big snowstorm on Monday. So we had library on Thursday. But I'll tell you what, on Monday, I'll be at Mayor. On Tuesday, I'll be at Defer. And on Wednesday, I'll be at Monteith. I hope you can join us. Now, what else can we do today? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, friends, going up here, let's review. We've got some choice boards. The choice boards are a lot of fun because it's a great place to explore and it doesn't matter where you go and it doesn't matter in what order you do, but it gives you a lot of places to land on the internet. And I will say that when you go to our choice boards, our, our channels are the, the, if it's the movies, you are going to see a YouTube channel, uh, just so you know. And over here where it says Pebble Go, if you want to use Pebble Go, you need to go through our, our library homepage because this link will actually Ask you for a password. But the other websites you can use, uh, remember that if your grown-ups ask uh, to, to make sure that you check with them before you go exploring, but you know, uh, hopefully that's not going to be a problem. These are all kid appropriate. Now over here, uh, I have podcasts for kids, and this is a lesson I gave a while ago, and I got to tell you, friends, I am a huge fan of podcasting, and I listen to 
podcast when I walk my dogs and when I cook dinner or I'm maybe I'm working around the house. And it's because when you listen to a podcast, your hands are free and you can do what you need to do, whether it's it's helping out around home or you are picking up your room, you can put your uh, you know earphones in and you can listen to a podcast. But if you click on these links right here, I've got a bunch of recommendations of podcasts that kids can listen to. So if you want to listen to a podcast, they're always free. They're always free. And the ones that I have chosen here from these articles are all kid appropriate. These are all kid appropriate. So when you click on these top boxes here, I strongly encourage you to talk to your grownups and say, hey, um, you know, could I listen to a podcast? Because I think it would be a lot of fun. So here are all links to lots of podcasts um, that I think are really appropriate for kids. So that's another activity you can do. All right, let's come on down here. When we are over here, um, oh, the virtual field trips. The virtual field trips are kind of fun. And if you haven't tried one of these, this is a really fun place to explore because it does allow you to travel around the world while sitting at home. So that's another activity you can do. So friends, I really hope that I get to see you uh, at our curbside checkout. Uh, if you have any questions, I strongly encourage that you email me because I really like connecting with you. You can uh, click over here where it says uh, email Mrs. Herman. Uh, and the other thing you can do if you're on my homepage is you can always click on this link right here uh, to connect. All right, have a great week and I look forward to seeing and hearing from you. Take care.